the math mathers talk today about a thing called the midpoint formula. So the idea here is if we had two points and we connected them with a segment, there's a point right here exactly halfway through the middle that's called the midpoint. And so if we knew what this was, and we knew where this was, we could figure out the coordinates of where this is. Essentially, what we're looking to just do is to average, to average the numbers from these to make some coordinates for this. By average, I mean add them up and divide by 2. So for this first answer, we want to look to the x's, which is the first numbers first. Add these, 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 divided by 2 would get me a 4. If I average 3 and 5, that's 4. If we think about the number line, halfway between 3 and 5 is 4. With 4 and 9, 4 and 9 add up to 13. 13 can't really divide by 2. Uh, if you try to divide 13 by 2, we go in 6 times with the leftover. We want to go here either 6.5 or 6.5. Up to you if you like fractions or decimals better. But these add to 13, divide by 2. We're always going to divide by 2. Add the numbers, divide by 2. So if we go at this one, 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So again, step 1 is add, step 2, divide by 2. 5 and 10, 5 and 10 is 15. 15 divided by 2 is somewhat uncooperative. We're going to get 7 and a half. 2 into 15 goes 7, but the remainder gets us a half. That would be the midpoint of these, because 4 and 2, 3 is right in the middle. 5 and 10, 7 and a half, right in the middle. If I throw in some negatives, make sure you remember the old negative rules. If negative adds negative, you get a negative and you add them. So if this had been a negative and a negative, we would have gotten a negative 6. And when we divide, it would have been a negative 3. Here, we're adding a negative and a positive. That's going to depend on the bigger one, and we'll subtract. So when 3 adds negative 5, that's turning out a negative 2 for a second. But when we divide by 2, that's down to negative 1. In between 3 and negative 5 on the number line, negative 1 is right halfway in between. 7 and 1, add 7 and 1 is 8. 8 divided by 2 would be 4. They're all just following those steps. Add the numbers. Make sure you add the first numbers to create the first number. Make sure you add the second numbers, the y's, to create the second number. Which is to add the numbers, divide by 2. There's a sheet with I don't know, it's not numbered, but there's a bunch of midpoint formula questions on the sheet with some explanations as well. See you.